My name is Brian Christie, and my mother is Hannah Christie, and my grandma is Betty Baker. Back 1998, July 27th, uh, around lunchtime or so, I got in a real severe wreck. You know, I broke my neck, back, cracked my pelvis in three places, crushed my ankle, bust my spleen. You know, probably should have been dead. He did die. He was life flighted to Vanderbilt and on the helicopter. And why he was on the helicopter, he did die. But make a long story short, uh, you know, guy uh, made a lot of stuff disappear on the X-ray. He had a crushed spleen. His insides were crushed. He had everything wrong with him. And the doctors come back and and says our X-rays are showing that everything is good. And days before that, everything was so bad. And it took me about six months of, in the wheelchair. You know, I had to learn how to walk again and all that stuff. A lot of people had been praying and praying for Brian and, and our prayers and, and everyone's prayers were answered that his, his insides were well. The prayers kept me going also. And then I started living life thinking, well, I can live again for myself. Here I go living again for myself. You know, thinking everything's all right, everything's fine and dandy. Well, here I get in another wreck, head-on collision at 45 mile an hour. You know, that could have killed me easily, and it should have killed me. When he had his second accident, I was I was just so mad at him because he was being so stubborn and not doing what he needed to do. But God changed him after this. Started, he's saying, you're not going to be stubborn. I'm going to put you in your place, and he did. So here I am telling people about him now. I'm not going to wait and sit around and not do nothing about it. Just me changing the last couple months, my whole little circle of friends has ha actually been going to church and they've been wanting to change. They've been trying to figure out what's going on, why I have changed so much, you know. I've been being called on to talk about him and, and you know, I felt like a punk if I didn't say anything about him. Before I was living right and living for God, you know, I was out every Friday, Saturday night, you know, thinking I had to be at the clubs, you know, trying to find the hottest girl at the clubs. I was out with all the wrong women for the wrong reasons. And, uh, you know, ever since I realized that I need to do what I need to do, I decided to uh, not have sex until marriage. And uh, and, and every, anybody that knew me before, they know it wasn't just me that could stop that. And i have been married twice before. I tried it my way, so I figured a third time I'm going to try it the right way and wait for marriage. I went on vacation with uh, his children and, and my parents, and when I come back, and I've been praying ever since he started having children to be a good Christian dad, and when I come back, God had changed his heart, and, and he was, it, since that time from vacation, he is such a good Christian dad. We always pray before meals. No matter where he's at, who he's with, he is praying before the meals. He's reading his his Bible on his phone. He even has his son before he goes to bed reading the Bible on his phone. And he is such a good Christian dad. And this is a miracle to me again. So, I mean, it's a really cool adventure, you know, and as a Christian, you can have fun. You know, for the longest time, I didn't think you could. I thought you had to be all straight and narrow, but you can have just as much fun, if not more fun, you know. Before I was a Christian, you know, I wouldn't talk to some people because I didn't like the way they looked. Or, you know, I didn't like the way they, you know, I just didn't like them for no reason. But now, you know, I'm not like that no more, so I talk to everybody and try to treat people like I want to be treated. And, you know, it, life's a lot less stressful, you know, and you don't need near as much things and materials as you think you do. You know, you think you need all this stuff, you gotta have all this and all that. But when it's all said and done, you really don't need that. All you need is Jesus in your heart. And God has made a change in Brian's life and it has also made a big change in his kids' lives. And they love their new daddy. Brian Lee said the other night, have you met my new daddy? And it's so awesome. You know, I didn't think God could use me because I was bad and, you know, dumb, whatever. But now I know God can use me. He can use anybody. He want, that's what he wants us to do, go out and reach and talk to people that never heard his name before. Even though it was 15 years ago, 
I still get very emotional uh, knowing what could have happened. But now I'm very emotional about being so overjoyed of what has happened. And I'd like to thank everybody in the church that has prayed for him.